All right, I wanna show you how to make overnight cultures now. So these are some strains that have been sitting in the fridge. Uh, uh, ideally, you want really fresh cultures that have just grown, but it's, it's really not that big of a deal. They can stay in the fridge for like a month. So, uh, you know, everything here we want to be sterile, really, really sterile. We don't want any contamination in our overnight cultures. So I'll just start two different cultures just to demonstrate, but this is G12 and Z12, these strains here. And this is our 15 mil tube rack down in here. I've got culture tubes. So these are 14 milliliter Falcon brand culture tubes. Let's start this flame going. I'm also gonna, away from the flame, I'm gonna spray some ethanol on my hands just to make sure my gloves are sterile. Uh, the flame creates an updraft to keep any contaminants from falling down. At least that's what they tell you. I think it's just like a wizard spell or something. <laughs> you hop up and down on one leg a few times and you don't get any contamination. So here's G12, here's Z12. Uh, and today we are going to be using YPD, YPD liquid culture. So that's this right here. Grab my little holder there. Uh, and usually in these 14 milliliter tubes, you want two milliliters of culture. So here's our one mil pipette. I'm gonna spray that down too, just because I'm paranoid. And here are our tips. I'll open this up. Just get two mils. One, two. It's probably not best to talk while you're working with sterile things because you'll spit all over everything and get contamination. But whatever. I'll flame the lid just a tiny bit. Put the YPD away. It's a super, super easy process. Uh, the, the only difficult thing is you need to maintain sterility. If, you, if you're really concerned about sterility, you can make one tube that you don't inoculate and then you can be pretty sure that you didn't get any contamination. All right, so I did that first one pretty fast, so the second one I'll do a little slower. Uh, this is the Z12 strain, that's what we want. I like to put my finger on the plate because when you flip it over, you might lose your place on the plate if there's more than two strains on there. This plate, again, has grown way too much. We want to lift it up you know, to the air as little as possible, but I'm just demonstrating here. So. Uh, you can see there's a bunch of individual colonies. Every time we start an overnight culture, we want to at least try our best to get an individual colony, to get some cells from an individual colony. Do you need to get an, you know, this massive clump of cells? No. Do you need to get as much as I have here? No, this is still a lot. You can get a tiny, tiny, tiny amount, especially if you're working with like E. coli or something, you can get an amount of cells that's basically invisible and still inoculate the culture. Um, you know, just to be safe, I like to be able to see the cells. This is probably twice as much as, you know, I would be very comfortable inoculating with. Um, so, you know, you can see the, the chunk floating around in there. So we definitely inoculated these culture tubes. That reduces our risk of contamination and also lets the cultures um, grow Quicker. If you start with more cells, you you end with more cells. Uh, so, you know, just some things to consider depending on what OD you want to grow your cells to. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's how you inoculate the cultures. So you can take them and put them in your shaker incubator. This is our pizza oven style shaker incubator. This is at 30 degrees Celsius. Um, by the way, this organism is Uroea lipolytica, just an oleaginous yeast. So in this incubator you can pull this whole tray out and just put your tubes in there you don't have to take the tray all the way out but if you do you got to push it all the way in so that it stays and close it up let it shake overnight or however long you need that's how you start a liquid culture pretty straightforward right thanks for watching uh, if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comments below I'd love to read them answer your questions um, if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe thanks bye